Hi, my name is Sarga, and uh, I'll be, uh, my topic will be about uh, global warming. Um, the claim that I'm refuting is that humans are not the uh, cause of, are not the primary cause of global warming. Um, <clears throat> the secondary claims I presented was that global warming arguments fall under naturally occurring temperature fluctuations, levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere fail to predict global warming, and that natural factors overshadow human carbon dioxide emissions. I refute the main claim by stating that humans are the <coughs> primary cause of global warming. Um, the first claim that was presented compared uh, and mentioned the similarity in the overall temper uh, temperature fluctuations of the medieval warm period um, to now. First of all, the evidence used um, only looked at regional, regional temperature and not the overall temperature of the Earth. And that uh, the secondly, evidence the evidence was from uh, 2007, and a graph from the United Kingdom's um, meteorology office uh, shows that temperature fluctuations were similar in 2007 and the medieval um, warm period, which is about 1.5 uh, degrees Celsius from the normal. But uh, in 2016, there were 5.5 degrees Celsius, so it's like um, any uh, four degree Celsius increase, and so uh, as I mentioned, this data was uh, poorly represented. Uh, the second claim mentioned uh, the Ordovician Ice Age, uh, which is also represented improperly. Data was taken um, from a time period of about uh, 15 million years. However, the Ice Age, ice age uh, only lasted uh, half a million years. Um, also, right after the Ice Age, there is a great increase in volcanic activity, which increased the overall um, carbon dioxide <coughs> concentration in the atmosphere. Uh, and since the data was taken from the whole uh, 15 uh, million years, 14 and a half million years uh, of carbon dioxide uh, being emitted into the atmosphere was taken into uh, consideration. Uh, and so, of course, after the Ice Age, there would be uh, way more uh, carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere uh, than there is now. And um, in fact, the increase in volcanic activity uh, led to, or the increase in um, carbon dioxide emissions led to uh, a glacier retreat by warming up the planet. So this example actually refutes itself, basically. Um, the, third, the third claim uh, presented how natural factors outweighed carbon dioxide emissions. Um, though this may be true, natural processes such as photosynthesis um, remove carbon dioxide from the air that was, uh, that was expelled by um, other natural processes. Humans are, humans, um, they only add to one side of this equation where um, they only add, they only expel a carbon dioxide and don't really absorb it afterwards. <coughs> Even so, uh, the nature still absorbs half of the carbon dioxide expelled from uh, human activity. However, research from the United States Department of Energy suggests that during the Industrial Revolution, there had been a 35% increase in carbon dioxide levels in respect to the period before, and that has only been increasing. So. Um, since uh, natural causes um, balance uh, out in that equilibrium, uh, it, human activity is the only main contributor to the carbon dioxide levels and global warming. Um, so I would like to end this with uh, the importance of this topic. This is very significant to the future of humans and life on Earth itself. Humans, uh, animals, and ecosystems are built to uh, stand under particular weather conditions, global warming can increase uh, the likelihood of natural disasters as it um, changes um, the climate and the pressure in the air. And so uh, with the more natural disasters that we'd have to be able to adapt to it and so monitoring global warming uh, is a crucial part of future life on Earth. Thank you for listening.
<coughs> all right, all the structural stuff is fine at the beginning. Uh, the argument about, uh, you know, the temperatures over a period of time is, uh, you know, pretty generic, and I'm not exactly sure that the advocate uh, presented a clear picture of what the trends are. Uh, yours is not necessarily particularly clear, except that there has been a 4% increase in Celsius degrees, uh, or 4, four degree difference uh, that has changed. I, I assume that that's more substantial than what we had before in the comparative term that the advocates talk about. I think you need to say that. Um, your whole argument about the Ice Age was a little bit confusing. I'm not exactly sure if you're suggesting that we can discount information that happened during the Ice Age because it represents only a small percentage of time, or if you're suggesting that uh, you know the current situation might give us a, a similar kind of ice age, but it's going to be worse in the long run. I, I just really wasn't clear as to how it was. I want you wanted me to process that information. Um, I could hear you making claims and trying to provide some explanation of it, but I didn't understand what that explanation was. Um, and when you even mentioned the glacier retreat uh, during the ice age, I'm going okay. So. Uh, you say that that supports the position that uh, you are are advocating, I guess, and it uh, does something to diminish the advocate's claim, but I'm not sure how. Uh, that just needed to be more clearly explained. Uh, the natural factors argument, you, you, you do go after that, suggesting that humans add to those factors. Uh, you're not diminishing the notion that uh, those factors do exist, but you suggest that humans uh, add on top of that, which is, I think, okay. Um, there's a there's an informa there's information from the Department of Energy about the increased number of CO you know, increased amount of CO2 in the atmosphere. You make a balance argument that needs to be more clearly explained there as you're finishing up. And so I think that there I think there are good responses here, and they're usually being organized. You do want to tell us the impact of some of these arguments more frequently. Um, you know, at the end, I think you've got a reasonable exit. We ought to be concerned about this. We ought to be keeping an eye on it. And it's likely that there is some relationship that's going on here. I think maybe that's the best way to finish that off. All right. Thank you.